like controllers. Okay, first up, before we even jump into the newsletter, we want to say happy trails and more to Katni. It's not goodbye. I was saying in our meeting, it's like, I'll see you on the other server instances. Uh, Katni is the one who came up with Code Plus Community, uh, has been in the CircuitPython community, doing a ton of stuff with Adafruit, getting us this- In the discords. Yeah, the on GitHub, on the Learn Guides. It's PyCon. So um, Katni's not gonna be uh, doing stuff with Adafruit, but still in the community, still doing stuff in the world. Uh, I'm sure you'll see uh, all the things Katni's up to, uh, but we wanted to say thank you so much for everything You've done, Katni. Uh, we're rooting for you and all the things, and I'm glad Adafruit was a stop along an awesome journey. Thank you so much. Um, we'll, uh, yeah, uh, and everyone in the Discord, uh, I think Katni's in here. Send your shout outs. Please send your shout outs, and we call them hug reports and more. A lot of folks got their um, uh, introduction to Adafruit via Katni. That's right. So, um, and they're doing stuff. So that's what it is to be a community. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's do some newsletter stuff. Uh, I'm going to ask Lady to some questions in a moment. Uh, but first, uh, the CircuitPython 826 release is out. It's basically just like certificate stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, you can check that out if you're interested. Lady Ada did an interview on PyCast, and this was a pre-record because it was really hard to find time. So they did a pre-record. And Lamore steps through the... Uh, library creation using ChatGPT 4. Yes. Um, so far, it's interesting. It seems like we've, um, I think someone had to go first and say, like, here's how we use these tools and here's how we're going to um, uh, show our work. So we post the full prompt logs uh, as Lady Ada interacts with it. And we put that as part of the readme in the um, GitHub repository for our open source libraries. And we also disclose all of the stuff um, if and when we use any type of AI tool. Um, these things are here to say. So we thought, well, what's the best possible way to, to show that we're doing this? Um, if we use things like even Copilot, we'll we'll say it. But we think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I posted my um, my my log with um, OpenAI. And other people said that they actually enjoyed that because they could learn yeah. how, how I, you know, like people, you know, one of the questions in the pie chat they asked was like, how did you know this is the prompt to use? And I was like, well, I didn't. Like it took a yeah. couple tries, guys. Like it was like night number three where I was like, wait, I finally got the right prompt, you know, to get it to um, write the code from the data sheets. And so, um, you know, I chat about that and licensing. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about it being able to imitate you? And I'm like, I think that's great for me. We're, we're in a unique situation, and I and I get that's why I think folks were scared because there's like a big, there's a big gap between like it's the worst thing or it's the best thing, and there's nobody really in the middle talking about like well, all like all bits of technology you can use it for bad stuff, um, and there's crediting and there's sourcing, but in our particular case, the code that Lamore's using is Lamore's code. Yeah. Um, she's just interacting with it with this large language model, which is kind of an interesting use case. There's probably not a lot of people doing it. The best analogy I can think of, um, only because this is probably going to be in the news, is like, so an author who has their stuff somehow in these large language models, um, having it be like a writing partner in some way, mm -hmm. um, or like an assistant in some way. So human plus AI powered things. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but you can watch the whole thing. It's, um, it's, uh, it's on now. But the uh, thing I was going to ask you is IEEE, they do their top programming languages each year. Yeah. And uh, Python continues to you know, pop to the top. And it's usually because of uh, you know, data sciences. Now it is because, or at least in part, um, people are using it for mic microcontrollers or things like Raspberry Pi. But what's the, um, I'll do five. What's the five programming languages you use on a regular basis, if there is five? Um, and what do you use them for? Because yeah. I feel like you're the you're the poster child for, um, you know, engineering and programming in a lot of ways. So what do you what are you using and what are you using it for? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I'm looking at these little arrows and they're like SQL. I'm like, why do SQL? I do use it, you know, almost every day. But I don't know the language. But I guess I guess it's NP complete huh? or uh, not complete. Uh, it's um, turn complete. Um, so for you know uh, electronics and the kind of work I do, like I use Python a lot. I use it on desktop and I use it on microcontrollers. 
I use Arduino, which is C, C++. Um, we do use assembly once in a while, not as much anymore, but I, I do use it. Um, and, you know, JavaScript, we have also JavaScript for my controllers and the TypeScript, um, the device script that recently came out. The, the bulk of it is, you know, Python and C, C++, and then maybe a little smattering of assembly. That's what you're doing right now. That's the most of it, yeah. And then <laughs> for some of these, like, things that you're, like, gluing data together for, um, for, like, web stuff, is that also Python? Python, a lot of it. Uh, so, like, data, like, data database or data source manipulation yeah like ironically like i'm doing s you know i do sql every day because i'm kind of like doing some data analysis stuff on um you know the adafruit you know manufacturing production management side and you know i could run write queries in sql to do it but honestly i just i just have the python iterate through it and yeah. you know like instead of trying to like left join and get that right and i've been using ChatGPT to try to write better queries but honestly i just i use python to like iteratively uh, determine stuff. And then, you know, we were doing the open source hardware. Um, yeah, that was helpful for me. Python too. Yeah, that was helpful for me because I was going to try to go another way. And um, instead, I used OpenAI's um, Ch ChatGPT's uh, code tool. And I explored a JSON file kind of asking natural language things. I looked at the Python that it was uh, generating. generating to make sure it was like what I wanted. Um, but, you know, what's interesting is it, it I wanted to know when it thought we would get to a certain amount of open hardware certifications, but because it doesn't really know other than the dates of the certification, which are actually when they're approved, um, it's hard to like, oh, linear regression, well, this is a way to do it. Um, but we were beating its its estimate. It's just because Lamore is doing a lot of hardware revision. So that was kind of cool. Okay. Um, so thanks for entertaining my question. I figured I would ask an engineer, um, what languages are you actually using right now as um, right now? Uh, I'll, I'll okay. well as of right now, the number one certified open source hardware company in the world. We have 695 um, certifications. Okay. Well, we're not yeah. gonna we're not gonna always be maybe we'll always be the the top certified uh, company um, doing uh, releasing designs. But right now we are. Yeah. So 695. We're very close to 700. So I thought this would be a good tie-in. Like, okay, this is this is what you're producing. What are the programming languages you're actually using? And it looks like a lot of Python and a lot of C. Uh, oh, you know, you know, I write um, scripts for, you know, Eagle CAD, and that's also in C, which is kind of funny. Okay. C like, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. All right. So we're getting close. Um, if you want, you can sign up, get this delivered to your inbox every single week on adafruitdaily.com. Let's.